What's up, this is EasyOS10 and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your PlayStation 3 controller to your Mac so that you can use the controller to play games with. All right. So what you're going to need first is of course your Mac, a PlayStation 3 controller, and the USB charging cable that came with your controller. Also, if you're using a Mac with a Bluetooth mouse or trackpad, you're going to need to find a USB mouse. Or if you're using a MacBook at all, um, you have the trackpad so you're fine. Basically, we're going to be using Bluetooth. Let's go into the system preferences and go to the Bluetooth setting. You're going to need to turn Bluetooth on and set it to discoverable. Now, take the USB charging cable for your PlayStation controller. First, plug it into the Mac and then plug the other end into your PlayStation controller. Once you've done that, hold down the PlayStation button for about three seconds then let it go and remove the controller cable. Now you get this pairing request for the controller and it's going to ask for a passcode. There's not really any passcode, you can make something up yourself. So if you want to hit just four zeros, four X's, password, or make up something secure, that's fine. Just something that you can remember. So for this test I'm just going to enter four zeros and hit pair. Now the next step you're going to have to do after this finishes is really important, otherwise you're just going to get this pairing screen back. So pay close attention to this. With PlayStation highlighted, go to the cog down here, hit add to favorites, and then go right back and hit update services, and then turn Bluetooth off, and then right back on. Hit the PlayStation button, and you are now connected. However, You'll notice if you try your PlayStation controller, you can't use the mouse at all. You can't use any kind of controls on it. That's where the next step comes in, how to use it as an actual controller, especially for games. Your next step is to go and download this app called Joystick Mapper. It's about $4.99 American dollars, and it's available in the Mac App Store for OS 10.6 Snow Leopard or later. And it's a really good app. It's really cheap, and it's it works really well. You can see from the reviews down here it's about uh, four and a half stars overall, five for the current version. Excuse me, uh, four and a half for the current version, five for all versions. And again, it's four ninety nine, so it's really cheap and works really well. I've already downloaded it, so here we have a bunch of pre-rendered examples. For example, first person shooter for Xbox 360, um, for retro games, um, one for PlayStation, and you can make your own. This was an example test one I made. If you want to see some of the pre-rendered ones, you can go here to File and Load Examples, which is pretty much all of these are. If you want to make one or edit one, you go down to the bottom and hit Add New Preset. And you can set up, for example, I'll hit, hit Add New Bind, hit Scan, I'll move or move a joystick on my controller or press a button. I'll press the X button in this case. And it detects that button that I pressed. And now you can set it as a keyboard key, a mouse button, all these other steps. I'll probably do a review of this app later, but for right now, we're just going to use the example um, set here by PlayStation 3 Gamepad first person shooter. Again, I can also go in and edit this preset and just do one of these uh and edit any of these, but all these were already pre-rendered by the game. Now the last step is to hit this checkbox here and hit use this preset. And now I'm actually using my PlayStation 3 controller as a mouse. And of course, if I go to here down here to one of my games, for example, let's say Mario. Now, I can use my PlayStation controller to play Mario. I'm just going to go ahead and um, close this. Nope. Some games, for example, I have here uh, Nova 2, fun little shooter, if you want to buy that from the Mac App Store, uh, that can detect gamepads like the PlayStation controller without 
the joystick mapper. But most games like, again, like Mario, Minecraft, things like that, will need joystick mapper or some other similar application to allow you to use the PlayStation controller as an actual game controller. And if you have any issues with mouse sensitivity, uh, you can always go into the uh, presets, edit the presets, there we go, and you can edit any of them here, any of the mouse motions and sensitivity, things like that. For example, you can see on this one, uh, the sensitivity is turned up quite high for the uh, for one of the axes compared to the other axes, axi, axes, you know what I mean. So that's how you connect your PlayStation 3 controller and play games with it. This has been EasyOS 10, and thank you for watching. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, as well as right here on YouTube and at the website, easyosx.wordpress.com. Thanks again.